Carolyn, and yes, I did. Now, of course, when I first went up, it was a little frightening walking into the apartment. But once I walked around, didn't see anything moving, I started feeling more secure, even safe. That is, as long as I didn't look down. This is what the damage looks like inside the apartment. Plaster cracking, walls breaking away. It looks a lot like earthquake damage. The building feels solid, but somewhat out of whack. Doors don't always open, door jams not square. The city posted keep out signs, but some tenants ignore the warnings, going in to get their possessions out. Their thinking goes, if the building is safe enough for city workers, it must be safe enough to go in for a few minutes. However, no one we saw inside wanted to say that on camera. Structural down. engineer and Peruz down. Barar, however, uh, backs them up on that. After viewing a tape of the inside damage, he told us the building isn't completely stable, but safe four, enough for moving out. On a very limited basis, because something like this is not going to all of a sudden uh, explode or uh, go down in, in a split second. It's so uh, just being, being there on a very limited basis, let's say half an hour, to collect your stuff, I don't see anything uh, wrong with that. But and he doesn't see any damage that can't be fixed. From what I saw on the tape, uh, there's nothing that can uh, tell me that uh, it can be repaired. Concrete poles from bedrock to the building is probably all it will take. The hard part is getting heavy equipment up or down the hill. It looks tough, maybe even impossible. But even that doesn't mean the apartments can't be saved. Things can be done uh, with by hand. In other words, there's Instead of drilling into the bedrock and putting, pouring a pier with concrete, you can have a hand dug pit. From down here, you can see how difficult it would be to hand dig a pit up there. It would cost a fortune. We are told that if it was more accessible, this would be a simple $70,000 job. But because it's so far up there, it would cost a half million, maybe even a million dollars for the owner to save his home. And Richard, that's a lot of bucks and he says he'd have to put it all himself, that he has no insurance. All right, Michael, thanks very much for that. Michael Finney reporting live tonight from Telegraph Hill.